Reality TV isn't always realistic, a centering thought for our discussion today with Leanne Noel from Century 21, Realty Insight, the last installment in February. Yes. Thank you for coming in. Ah, it's always a pleasure being here, Clark. Thank you for having me. We're going to be talking about how reality <laughs> TV doesn't really equate to a very thorough approach for home renovations. Well, that's but it. There's definitely some misconceptions that we are going to get to. But first, January yes. statistics. Yes, um, our housing market update for January 2023. What do you have for us? Well, of course, I want to mention again that this is a year-over-year -year comparison, and this is based on the residential data from the North Bay Real Estate Board MLS system. So let's start with our home sales. They are down 52.6%. 27 units sold in January 2023 compared to 57 units sold in January 2022. Our listings are also down 21.5 percent. 51 new listings hit the system in January 2023 and that's compared to 65 listings the same month last year. Uh, at the end of January 2023 the market was balanced but still tilted in favor to our sellers. And that benchmark price is also down 8.2%. It was 372,800 for January 2023, down from 406,000 compared to the same month last year. With all that said, is it easy to say whether or not this is a buyer's or a seller's market? It's still in sell favor of our sellers. Inventory is very low and buyers are still out there pre-approved, even with those rates ready to go. Home improvement misconceptions. We're gonna jump yes. right in. Misconception yes. number one, which can be perpetuated by home improvement reality TV. Yes. You can renovate in record time. Why is this not true? <laughs> oh goodness. Well, speed is the most common misconception home renovation shows can perpetuate. Uh, we often don't see the behind the scenes chaos uh, that what appears to happen on TV in a blink of an eye. Uh, so let's talk realistic timeline. It really depends on the size and obviously the complexity of the project. So for a small project, you're looking at maybe a few weeks. For a big uh, home renovation, you're looking at anywhere between 9 and 18 months. So important to take into account delays, things that we can't control, weather, availability of supplies, and perhaps some unexpected damages that can occur during your demolition. And somehow they get this into a show that's about a half hour long, Exactly, right? that's right. <laughs> Misconception number two, you don't need professionals. Do it all yourself with oh, no guidance gosh, whatsoever. Oh those DIYs, right? Uh, so shows like Save My Reno, uh, Trading Spaces, they do a beautiful job of emphasizing how there's a do-it-yourself solution for everything and anything. Uh, so while there's no denying you can feel empowered by a do-it-yourself project and can take matters into your own hands, not all projects should be left to DIY. So it's important to remember that the DIYers on these shows only do some of the work. There are professionals behind the scenes that are on set to supervise the work and to complete some of the work off camera to help expedite that process. So it's important to hire those professionals to help avoid uh, irreparable damage and of course to avoid injury. Misconception no number three, last but certainly not least, yes. your flipped home will always <laughs> sell, guaranteed. That's right. So. Maybe our viewers know Drew and Jonathan Scott. They're the stars of Property Brothers. They transform fixer-uppers into dream homes over and over again. Um, not only does flipping a home seem super fun on TV, and of course, at the end of that particular show, there's amazing results uh, that could be monetary. Uh, so it's not always the case that the value goes up and the flip home will sell in record time. So before you begin any renovation or a potential flipping project, you should have a good understanding of our market or the market that you're in, uh, where you want to buy, contact your trusted realtor, uh, get market data, get your neighborhood history, think about the average sale prices, the amenities that are close, and of course your realtor is going to help with a lot more along the way. We all know about fashion trends, what about home trends? That's what we're going to be talking about in March, the yes. first installment next yes. month. Yep. What sort of design trends are we going to be discussing? Well, I'd really like to talk about some kitchen trends because I have some wonderful things in store with us. We are going to have an amazing designer contractor. Her name's Catherine. She's going to be here with us. And then we're going to get on set. She is going to be doing, talking about home renovation shows, uh, a kitchen renovation in a smaller space. And I'm really excited to show our viewers the before and, of course, some really great content for after. And this will be as realistic as possible? Absolutely. That's what we do here. 
That Let's is, keep it real. <laughs> that is Leanne Noel from Century 21. Speaking of home improvements, we were down at the North Bay Home Show this past weekend at Memorial Gardens. Our volunteer Red Trousdale was there and brings us these images.